why you need to unplug your antennas during a lightning storm. Now I have my grounding thing set up, but uh, there'll still be some enough induced voltage here to do this little neat thing. It's thundering and lightning outside, so I'm going to put an LED on my uh, coax right there. And check this out. Pause this. Alright, so it's set up now. That clip is just... Not well, only thing, it's just to hold the, the LED physically to the coax. So, let me turn off the lights here. And as soon as there's a nearby lightning strike, I don't know what the definition of nearby is. It, it just depends on your antenna, but uh, it will uh, it'll flash. Make sure it's not grounded out there. Like I said, it's got it on the, the, the center lead. And it's held up to the other one ground on the on the shield and the ground. Or the, the shield and the, the center. So let me uh, go ahead and turn the lights off here. Alexa, turn off the ham lights. Okay. Did that goes. Did you see that? See that flash? Let me make it darker. Alexa, turn off the den lights. Okay. That's showing up. You see that? Those strikes are within probably five miles. And what we're running now is a G5 RV. If it gets too much voltage, the, the lightning suppressors outside will do it. But this is about five volts on here. Or five volt. There we go. There's a five volt LED on here. So that's what happens if you don't have it, uh, or if you have it connected, it will will do induce current in your thing in your um, your radio and your electronics. Alexa, turn on the den lights. Okay. So, but it does flash. Lighting storm's kind of over. I should have done the height of it, but I didn't. But try it for yourself, and you'll see. Just, just short the center and the and the lead. Or, God, I can't think tonight. Short the center pin and the coax shield with an LED, and it'll flash. Doesn't matter which way it's hooked up. Um, it'll flash because there's current. Um, now these are induced current, so they're not like a strike, but a nearby strike will wreck your equipment. So I disconnect, and I have surge suppressors out there, lightning arresters outside. As well, see there, flash. Two flashes there. I sure hope that's showing up. But try it yourself, or you know, actually maybe don't, don't, don't play with your coax in a lightning storm. <laughs> that's probably not a good idea. But anyway, this is NCP. Um, Alexa, turn on the ham lights. There we go. Okay. So that's all it is. Like I said, there's not the coax and the um. Jumper lead isn't on anything. It's just strictly a uh, to hold the, the LED on there because I didn't have a bunch of alligator clips, what I would normally did, but I don't have any. Or I should say I don't know where they're at. But it's not showing up. But that was just a standard red, uh, red LED from Radio Chat 1.7 volt. Okay. Five millimeter. That's right. I thought it was a uh, five volt, but it's 1.7 volts. So we're definitely getting that current induced into the line from lightning strikes. So there you go, everybody. Stay safe. You know, this is the equivalent of in the old days when I said stay off the telephone uh, during a lightning storm because the lightning would go down the the uh, phone wires. Same thing. Same thing. So, we'll get back into it, everybody. All right, this is NCP. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe.